where do I look here? Hi, um, so this is just, um, 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 saying I'm a lot, um, so I just wanted to do this because I just feel like keeping a record of things and, uh, it's just like an honest way to do it in my mind and like a very open way to do it, uh, you know, but I suppose you can always make things private later, um, anyways, I just feel like talking because... I don't relate to a lot of people. I relate to people, but they don't relate to me. And then there's always like a disconnect and that makes me really uh, distant. And then I just end up spending a lot of time alone out of necessity because I can't really relate to anyone. I can relate to a couple of people that I know, but I am just having more and more trouble trying to, um, I do see that other people are just like me, I just don't see that they see that I'm like them, um, so, my neighbors are following a script, like, they're in, um, a movie, like, it's like, um, Stepford Wives or um, Children of the Corn or something where they're just sort of repeating the same general phrases like, oh, nice to see you out today or how are you doing today or, uh, and they care, right? And it's like, I wish I could just encounter a person, a stranger basically that I don't know that maybe I do see when I come and go and I wish they could just, um, you know, forget about the fact that, like, sometimes I use a wheelchair, sometimes I don't, and, uh, that I use a cane, and that my dog has a gentle lead. Everyone wants to know why I, my dog has a gentle lead. It's like, it gives me more control of the dog. I, I have physical disabilities. Like, you don't need to know why I use a gentle lead. Why do you have to ask me all these questions all the time? Why is everything a conversation? peace basically right like my body it's about my body at the end of the day because it's about like the things I use all the time it's always like oh, oh have you always had that wheelchair or <laughs> hmm. anyways I live around a lot of like older people so it sort of makes sense that I draw attention and um this is making me feel like never it's making me like kind of agoraphobic even though I'm not really um, but it's making me want to just avoid people. And so, you know, I still do the things I need to do. But, um, it's like I'm working on not letting it affect me so much. And I'm finding that challenging. And, um, I'm tired, like, all the fucking time. Sorry. But I'm really tired all the time, like chronically tired, and every day I wake up, and I'm not just doing this to complain, I'm just saying, this is my reality, so people don't get it, so I avoid people, <laughs> unless they do get it, because they know me, or uh, they've spent a lot of time with me, or they have something very similar going on, maybe, um, but uh, where, was I, where was I going with that? brain fog yeah so I rarely sleep enough like I sleep every night I try to go to bed early sometimes I'm not so good at that I'm always sore so it's like I'm always trying to get the pain flare to go down so I can go to sleep and like people talk about pain flares and I used to not really know what that meant because I was always 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 in pain and I still am always 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 in pain but I do have flares in a sense where every day the things I do with my arms and legs will hurt me and that it will continue to hurt me for the duration of the day and the next day and the next several weeks unless I take a, a few days to rest where I do absolutely nothing and people don't understand that and they think you're being like you have a sedentary lifestyle and, and it's like you're you're going it's like use it or lose it and it's like it doesn't apply to people with chronic illness it really doesn't and um it doesn't apply to people who 
who are in their 30s and 20s, maybe 40s, young people who are, uh, you know, we don't want to use mobility devices. We don't want to need them, but they help us. So the last thing you should be doing is questioning it or shaming us or especially if you're a medical professional, like just like we don't, I'll talk for myself. I will not bring my walker sometimes, even if I think it will help. It always hurts anyways, but sometimes I think I need it, but I'm just like, I'm not going to use it in front of this doctor. So I get by with a cane and uh, then they want to know all about that. And nobody wants you, nobody wants you using anything. And it's like, and they want to, it's just, it gets very personal. Like, if I tried to walk outside without a cane, I guarantee you I'd fall down. And, um, do I really need to explain them why? Like, they, because I have several different doctors for several different things, and they're all kind of dumb about the things that they're not an expert in. And let, don't get me started on the healthcare system, but... So I do have nerve damage in my legs and arms. Separate sort of things going on happen at separate times, but I've lost feeling in both my legs and both my arms. I still have feeling, but I've lost some sensation. That's part of it. Doesn't really affect me that much. Um, it's annoying, and I got like, you know, shooting pains and stuff as part of that. Um, but what's really hard is just... Um, my my joints are very unstable so my especially my shoulders and my hips so I always feel like they're popping they're popping out all the time they literally are popping out and all little bones in my feet are popping out and my knees and everything and I'm always having to pop them back in and that's just I do that hundreds of times a day I don't know <laughs> or I rest um, and if I can get enough rest and I can get the pain flares down enough then I can do little core exercises and stuff but this is not like a disease or whatever it is this is not like an illness you can like stay ahead of that you can like <sighs> halt the progression of or do anything for like because I, I mean I know this I still try to walk sometimes like 6,000 steps a day if I can, you know, and that's too much and I shouldn't be trying to do that and I try to do that because I'm like, can I still be a normal person? So I'll, I've done that with my cane just like as an experiment, you know, because that's whatever, somebody calculated that somewhere and it was a goal for myself at some point and it shouldn't be actually, it really shouldn't be <laughs> because I shouldn't be pushing it. Um, but it's winter. My wheelchair is actually seized up right now, so I can't use it. And even if I wanted to use it, it's slushy as fuck. It would probably break. Um, and I'm waiting for a paratransit, and I gotta walk the dog. And I love walking, but it hurts so much. And I feel like I'm gonna pass out, and I have to sit down all the time. And I end up sitting on the snow, and on benches if I can find them, or a log, or anything I can find. And you know what? I just wish people would give me space not just like questioning me while I'm trying to just like survive you know it's survival mode all the time it feels like I'm in survival mode you know I just try to eat enough to stay okay nutritionally all that I'm working on that right now I think I've been brainwashed by like vegetarianism and veganism but this is like not what I want to talk about right now um, but, uh, yeah, I have to give myself a needle every day. That's no big deal. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. It's just, like, I don't feel I have enough time, even though it seems like I have all the time, because I've got nothing going on. I couldn't keep up with choir. I couldn't keep up with playing shows. Um, singing and stuff. I couldn't keep up. When I play guitar, my everything pops out, and so whatever. I put it back in and whatever, but then I wake up, both my arms are asleep, and they stay, like, a little bit asleep, and always now, and both my legs. And nobody can really tell me exactly why this is happening. There's just sort of theories. So it might be because I have MS. It might be because I have EDS. It might be something else. 
Um, and then the reason I want to pass out all the time, but I don't, I never do. I just feel like it's going to happen. And I feel a little nauseous and dizzy. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. Um, but I resist. I always find a place to sit. If I can find a place to sit, I'll sit on the ground. Um, so that's because I have postural orthostatic tachycardia. And apparently it affects me, like, a lot. And I hate it. And, uh, so if you're trying to have a conversation with me when I'm standing upright, like, good luck. <laughs> you're probably not going to be able to have a conversation with me. Because I'll be, like, looking for a place to sit and feeling very lightheaded and not able to focus. And a lot of times I'm just not able to focus as it is. And that, um brain damage <laughs> so essentially for multiple things um at this point right if you want to get technical um but I'm just gonna go now I just felt like talking get more comfortable maybe with just talking because I've been hiding and um not that that's a bad thing, but, uh, I'm kind of trying to find an outlet for these thoughts. I don't know what else to say, but thanks for listening, if you did listen and all that.